Hey, what's up, everybody? Back with another one. And of course, you know, this weekend we have the DC fandom. And of course, Matt Reeves went ahead and dropped that teaser trailer for the Batman. And one thing I can say that I'm very relieved that this actually came out the way it actually came out. It actually looks like they're actually executing what they say they were trying to shoot for. And it's supposed to be only like 30% of the movie that's been actually shot so far. And from this teaser trailer, it looks like they're going in the right direction. The first feeling I got from this when I watched it was like uh, Batman meets Seven. And I love that damn Seven, but the thing that was so crazy about it, I was wondering what the end result, or at least the end result they're trying to reach with this particular film. And I like it. Now, one thing that kind of worried me a little bit was how the suit was actually going to look on film, man. That thing look right. It looks like it's set directly uh, in this world or this year two Batman at least. And I like what they're trying to do with this. Now we will see what we get after they go back to filming. But so far I like it. And I like that they have Colin Farrell in there as the Penguin. And most people look at it and don't even recognize that it's actually him. I was watching the trailer. I watched it like five times. I was like, it got to be Colin Farrell. Uh, I think you might surprise us in this one. And of course, we have the uh, Riddler going around taking out uh, people, leaving Batman clues to try to track him down. Or I guess uh, point him more in the direction of uh, those in power that are corrupt. So that should be interesting. But the thing that really sealed the deal for me on this one was when he beat the hell out of that dude. That right there made me say, okay, I can get down with this. But we shall see. But as far as this teaser goes, I think they did a really, really good job. I'm actually excited for this movie now. Before I was like, yeah, I want to see it, but now I'm more excited for it. Because they set a good tone to it to see what's going on in this version of uh, Gotham. With Bruce Wayne being the Batman. Another thing that really surprised me too was how gritty this actually looks. And the vibe that they're actually going for. That surprised me. It's like they're pushing that PG-13 as far as they can. And I'm all for it, so that should be good. But back to Colin Farrell as a uh, penguin. With that uh, prosthetic makeup on, they really made it so he can actually, you actually don't realize that it's him. So I think we're all going to be surprised by the performance that we get out of him playing this particular character. I want to see what mannerisms he has and the way he acts so we can actually see the uh, penguin at the beginning of his uh, ascension to a. Uh, I guess power and being a villain so it should be very very interesting there's literally like one shot in there where you realize that that's actually Colin Farrell and that's the car scene I'm gonna try to put a screenshot of it when I looked at it on that part and I paused it I was like yeah that's Colin Farrell but they did a really good job with the prosthetics that they are using on him in this particular movie also, like how they keep with the theme of how everything is uh, in the early years, of course, the second year for Batman, how you get to see the early look of uh, Selena Kyle, the early look of the Riddler. Nobody's actually settled into what their whole motif and look that we're used to from uh, other uh, versions in media or uh, other films and movies and TV shows and stuff like that. So that's very interesting to me, interesting to me at least to see the little, little catalyst, the beginning of what becomes to what we know them as later on as time goes by. So overall, from what we've seen so far, I'm I'm satisfied so far. I'm actually looking forward to this. Um, not worried about it like some people were like, oh man, this is gonna be straight trash. This has some good potential. If Matt Reeves pulls this off, this is gonna be another iconic Batman film. So time will tell. We got, what, another year and they gotta go back to filming, so. Of course, I know we'll probably get uh, more teasers and a ton of more information between then and now. But for right now, I'm at ease. I like what I've seen so far. But we'll go ahead and end the video right here. And uh, otherwise than that, I will catch you all in the next one. All right, everybody.